So after a nice long two month stay in Fiji, we are about to be on the move again. But before we get going, there's a lot of stuff we gotta get done. I'm super stoked for this next trip that we're doing here because we're gonna be going to Vanuatu and then into the Solomons and Papua New Guinea, which is an area that's absolutely overflowing with World War II history, which is one of my favorite eras in history. Back on December 7th, 1941, when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. All of a sudden, the Americans took off into the Pacific and all of these unknown islands where there was literally just coconut plantations and nothing else became massive cities and massive battlegrounds overnight. We're gonna get to go check out a lot of those places hopefully see some relics that are left over from the war, maybe some burned out tanks. Super excited for it. But today I gotta get to work and start fixing stuff. There's a lot of little jobs we gotta get done on the boat and we gotta go to town, get a bunch of food for the crossing, a couple of spare parts that we don't have and just make sure that everything's good to go. So we are going to go um, to Latoka. Yeah, if we can go and then, and then you can wait and for this us to is our cab. First stop on our order of business today is I have to try to find if I can replace the step for the back of the boat. So we're here at this place called All Engineering in Latoka. And um, I'm going to just see if they have this piece of material for me. Wow. This is cool, this place. So here I am just waiting to see if they have any of that material, but it's a really cool place. So they found this stuff here, which is similar to that. So we're gonna see how much it is. Apparently it's expensive. They're having a very important meeting over there. The machine shop wanted to charge me $250 to, for this like piece of whatever plastic and the other one was green which would not have at all matched with our steps and this is the piece that we got somebody gave us they had off cut at Baobab Marine and they made that just for like a fraction of what they wanted to charge at the other place so here we are at the Lautoka vegetable market so this is where all the villagers come and sell their fresh produce that they harvest from their farms, they bring it down to the market, and they often will just stay in town until everything's sold and then go back and farm some more. It's always a little hectic at the market, but it's a lot of fun. And we are becoming quite good at cooking with Fijian vegetables. Hey, hey, Mia, where did you get that? No. Mia was going a little bit crazy. Her favorite thing to do was to grab the top item off every heap and take it and then try to run off with it. And she saw some snake beans hanging over the edge of a counter, walked up to them and bit off one end. And she doesn't even like beans. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I scrap! I scrap! So many kinds of ice cream. First stop for me is the starboard side engine room. I'm gonna go in here and change the oil on the engine. Ideally, I like to do this before we go on any crossing. I'll go change the oil, change the filters, change the fuel filter, and just give the engine a once over to look for anything that might be going on it so that we don't get into the middle of the ocean and end up having a problem. So it's boat cleaning day, and the girls are having a dance party and a cleaning party. Mia's scrubbing away. Hannah's scrubbing away. Aya's in charge of the water. Are Thank you having you. fun, Mia? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> okay. One of the easier items on the list that I'm going to tackle today is the foot switch for the mast winch. So we use this foot switch to raise the mainsail. 
We don't need it to raise the mainsail. It's just a nice luxury to have. It makes raising the mainsail a lot easier. This thing stopped working about a month ago. Rather than buying a new one, I decided to take it apart and see if I could fix it. Basically that contact sits on top of the rubber housing like that. That rubber housing sits on top of that whole thing like that. So when you press the foot switch, this contact depresses and bridges the connection there and then the winch starts to operate. And so this stopped working because this contact had basically just slid all the way up here. So whenever you pressed it, it wasn't actually pressing the contacts and the foot switch wasn't working. So I managed to rip this all apart, break the seals, clean it all up where it's at now. Um, this is the little metal piece that, oh shoot, there's some screws there I don't wanna lose. That's the little metal piece that holds the whole thing together like that with the rubber piece inside of it. And you'll see it when it's all put together. First, I'm gonna solder the wires back together, run these through, solder them back to the connections, soldered up, taped up, ready to put them back together, screw them in. Then we're going to take some 5200 and seal the whole thing up and put it back on deck. All back together, all 5200 in there, and it works. Now it's time to clean up, and if the wind dies down, to go surfing. Okay, so we're finally out of the marina and we are sailing off to the Asawas. And we are a little bit longer in the marina than I thought we were going to be because I had to put on new solar panels because our solar panels stopped working. So a day and a half of hard work and we have some new solar panels. I think they look pretty slick and they work pretty good too. We're getting way more amperage into the boat now. Anywho, we're now off to the Asawas and we're gonna go to Manta Ray Bay and hopefully go swim with some manta rays. We'll see if that happens. We've got wind, first time we've been sailing in two months, so it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty stoked. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned as we head deeper into the Pacific and start our search for some World War II history and hopefully some relics as we sail into Vanuatu and beyond. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to give me a like and please click that red button down there to subscribe to my channel.